Medicine is getting personal, driven by the cost of the dropping cost of genetic testing. Doctors and scientists worldwide are keeping their eye on the latest advancement in medicine, the ability to treat patients with therapies specifically designed to their needs rather than generic medication. I'm joined now by Billy Abraham, I24 News tech contributor, who is going to tell us all about it. Billy, now first off, what, what is personalised medicine? How does this work? Okay, well, the, the thing is that today, if we look at the healthcare system, uh, there's a one-size-fits-all model. So, really, doctors don't take into consideration environmental factors and genetic factors when they give you uh, a pain reliever. And, for example, if you take a pain reliever, uh, for one person, it might work for a half hour. For another one a person, it might work for five hours. And for one, it won't have any effect at all. And personalized medicine is all about classifying people into groups based on their genetic information. It's looking at health risks and treatment responses in the context of the uh, genetic group they belong to. We'll talk to, about this in a minute. It's all about preventing diseases and tailoring treatments to, the indivi to individuals to ensure the highest uh, chance of success. So what are, what, is the, what are the main benefits, apart from obviously targeting um, relief per person, there's got a there's a benefit. Is it for the just for the individual person here? Yeah. Well, there are four major uh, advantages. So one is prediction and early detection of disease. So you can actually predict disease two to two two to eight years before symptoms become uh, obvious, which is really could be a lifesaver. Uh, precise diagnosis of serious ailments. For example, uh, if you look at depression or cancer, development of, of effective treatments. Today, drugs are usually effective in 30 to 60 percent of, of cases and of course development of less toxic treatments because today if you look at the United States about a hundred thousand people every year are hospitalized because they took uh, a drug and it had an adverse effect on them. So what makes this time right now the perfect time for this personalized medicine? So first of all scientists have a complete map of our genes uh, and the whole genome uh, sequencing is quite cheap. I mean now it's about a thousand dollars or actually a, less than a thousand dollars. In 2001 it would cost a hundred million dollars so something not realistic for the average uh, Joe. Big data, a lot of information out there. We're all using smart watches that produce a lot of uh, information and computational power which is able to crunch all of that data. And Israel are investing in personalized medicine I hear. Tell me about that. Yeah well Israel wants to become the leader uh, in digital health and if we look at Bar Ilan, the Institute, uh, Israel Institute of Technology, the Wiseman Institute of Science all have personal medicine centers. Uh, the digital uh, health sector is evaluated at about six trillion dollars and the government wants to take about 10 percent of that market uh, and it has has invested about one million shekels in a government plan uh, in order to get a lot of information about the citizens of Israel and to see what we can do with this for medicine. And Israel are planning on developing the per personalized medicine, I hear. Yeah. What, what makes Israel the perfect place for this? Okay, so there are two major things. First of all, we have homogenous uh, populations. So we have Mizrahim, Sfaradim, Bedouins, Ethiopians. All of these populations have something genetically which is common. Uh, and personalized uh, medicine is all about classifying people into groups of, gene of right. genes. Uh, and we have a strong body of academic research in big data, um, artificial intelligence, and bioinformatics. So these three things make us a perfect place, a perfect hub for this. Uh, Ab absolutely. There does seem to be medical medical stories coming out of Israel all the time. And just what are some of the applications? Oh, there are several. So first of all, printing 3D organs. Today you can print organs by using bio ink, which is made out of hydrogel, which is a bio uh, material, so you can produce uh, kidney and heart and so that's all personalized. Uh, diagnosis of colon cancer, breast tumors and breast cancer. Uh, individualized treatment of mental illness, even that, gene therapy and immunotherapy. That's where you leverage the immune system in order to fight diseases like cancer. So a whole lot of... Uh, this is phenomenal. It is. It it's, is. It's, and it's, it's, it's really amazing and there are a lot of countries who are investing in this. We have uh, the United Kingdom, we have the United States. Uh, Barack Obama uh, announced a plan to have a hundred mil uh, sorry, a million Americans participate in a plan where their gene information will be collected and will be utilized to personalize medicine. When can we expect, I don't know if, you, if we know the answer to this yet because we're st it's still all in the, in the pipeline, but when can we expect personalized medicine to hit the shelf? 
Well, according to some estimates, uh, in about uh, seven years, uh, we're talking about 2025, that's when all of us will be able to go to a doctor, get a g genetic test, and have drugs um, uh, tailored to our particular uh, needs. But you know, today when you go to the doctor, sometimes he asks you, uh, well, do you have any history of blood pressure or uh, you know, heart disease in the family? And you might say, I do, because you know, or you might say, I'm not sure. And if you're not sure, then the drug that you get is not really tailored to Absolutely. your particular background. And with gene therapy, this is something that will definitely be uh, possible to do. Good things ahead in the future in the world definitely. of medicine. Billy yeah. Abraham, thank you so much for joining me.